I want to say wonders shall never end. And if you watch the next video, you'll get the reason why I'm saying this. I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks, and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. Before we start, I want you to please watch the next video. And when I come back, I'll give you my thoughts. So now you get the reason why I said wonder shall never end. Like, from the video you just watched, these are definitely kids. Children in their mid, or let's say late teens, 19 or higher. So if these kids are old enough, they will be at least 24, 25. And then, let's just say, yes, finding love is a good thing, but awakening love at a young age, the flames is going to burn you. The flames of awakening love at a young age is going to burn you. And the scars will remain for the rest of your life. Guys, there is nothing like that first time you get heartbroken. So, tell me why someone in secondary school, let's just say they just finished secondary school. Let's just say they just concluded their WIAC, result, their WIAC exams. So, tell me why someone in secondary school in their rightful mind will go to a ring seller and be like, hey, you know what? Let me buy a ring. I'm about to propose to my girlfriend. Now, what goes through your mind? Is it, do you think that this is 1880 where two people with nothing can just get married and out of the blue, boom, some, they will make something out of their life? No. This is 2024. Before you plan on getting married in 2024, you would at least, at least have one steady job, one flow of income. You must have it. So I don't know what gave him the audacity or what gave him the morale to be like, okay, I love you too much. I think I need to propose to you. Moreover, the next question I have to ask is, now that you've proposed to her, what is the next plan? Or where are your parents? I'm talking about the guy and also the, the girls. Your parents sent you to school to get a wired result, not to go and bring a wife home. Yes, there's this saying that he who founded a wife founded a good thing. Yeah, but there is a, there is a certain age limit where if you get to that age, and you say you found a wife, everybody will be happy for you. But finding a wife in secondary school at the age of 20, in 2024, 2024, like, I've been, it's been running through my mind for past hours since I saw the video. This is not the video I was planning on doing, but after seeing this, I'm like, no, I have to talk about this. And I'll urge you guys watching to please share your thoughts about all of this this whole wedding proposal from kids not less than 25 or not older than 25 years old let me know what your thoughts are and also smash the like button share to your friends and in other news nigeria is going through a heavy fuel scarcity watch this video and uh, you will see the reason why i'm saying there is fuel scarcity As you can see from this video, people are lining up in a filling station trying to buy fuel as much as they can, as much as they can get. And uh, what I'm hearing is that pump price is now at 1,000 per liter. Guys, 1,000 per liter. Imagine someone in a household that you need to buy fuel to carry your uh, refrigerator, deep freezer, uh, AC, Let's not just talk about AC now, because 
in a period where there is fuel scarcity, you have to take comfort out. So imagine someone that is into uh, selling frozen food. Let me just put it like that. Someone that sells frozen food. So imagine with this fuel scarcity now, what will happen to that business? And to make matters worse, the Nigerian government, this present administration, seems as if they don't have any plan. They don't have any plan at all on what to do or how to save Nigerians. Imagine the first day you get into the presidency, the very first day, and the, your first address is first subsidy is gone. First subsidy is gone. With that simple statement, one line of sentence, you put the whole country in an uproar. And now people are beginning to look for ways to manage their life. And then, not up to one year, you are not even one year into your administration. You are taking Nigerians from frying pan to fire. Yes, when Bugari was the president, he did what he did. But at least Bugari gave us time. Bugari gave time. Bugari didn't just come immediately and then hardship befell Nigerians. No. Bugari was like one year into his administration. Then people decided, people started noticing that, no, this man doesn't have anything to offer. And now we have Bat, His Royal Highness, Bala Ahmed Tinubu, who insisted that it's his turn to run for the presidency. That's the only thing he said. And some gullible Nigerians decided, you know what, yes, let's vote for him. Though, in my heart of heart, I know that Peter Obi won the election, the last election. But let's not talk about it. Let's just talk about how Tinubu have been running this country called Nigeria down since the very first day he, took, he came in as the president of Nigeria. You came in as the president of Nigeria. Fuel, a uh, pump price of fuel went from 100 and something, from 600 and something to 1,000. Cement, cement, went, like the price of cement skyrocketed. Everything in Nigeria, the prices have been skyrocketing. And for some reasons, the only thing you are telling Nigerians is to, yes, keep calm, relax, everything is going to work out. Uh, bear with us, everything is going to work out. But you are not giving us like your master plan on what you are going to do to make things work out. You come today, you tell us Nigeria doesn't have any money, we, uh, we need a social amount of money, we need a social amount of money. Then, all of a sudden, tomorrow, a minister will wake up and be like, oh no, you know what, we need to buy new automobile for the whole ministers. And you spend Tens of mil you spend millions and, mil and billions of naira just to secure comfort of ministers and people beneath you. And you forgot that, yes, the masses, the people that you are supposed to be ruling, the people that you are supposed to be serving, are going through hell. But no, it's the comfort of your ministers, people that are already comfortable with the amount of money they are stealing from their parastatas. But no. We're not going to talk about that. What am I saying? It's just that Nigeria is going through hell, and as the president said, let us endure. Let us endure and know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Though most of us Nigerians, we don't agree that there is light at the end of the tunnel. But what are we to do? We have to just endure. Yes, I'll be dropping my voice here. And I would like you to give me your thoughts on everything from the proposal video and also from the full scarcity happening in Nigeria at the moment. Let me know your thoughts and also don't forget, like this video, subscribe to my channel if this is your first time coming across my channel. I'll appreciate that. To my old subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, I'm alive, guys. I'm alive. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.